Well, South Florida sports has lost a legend. Bernie Rosen spent more than six decades leading and mentoring the sports department at WTVJ. CBS 4's Mike Cunha is here with a look at the life of a man who most certainly was a true pioneer. Right, Mike? That's right, Jim. When you're watching sports coverage, whether it be on ESPN or here on CBS 4, you can trace its roots back to Bernie Rosen in some way, shape, or form. He was an architect of the WTVJ Sports Department, the first in Florida and one of the first in the entire country. Bernie's career began way back in 1949. He went from sweeping the studio to sports director. He covered all from high school to the Dolphins, had a special working relationship with Muhammad Ali. Bernie did whatever it took to get a story, even if it meant lugging camera equipment on the bus to make it to a shoot. On air, he helped launch the careers of people like Roy Firestone, Chris Myers, and Susie Colbert. He even hired the first female sportscaster, Jane Chastain, in 1967. Bernie was a sports director at TVJ from 1960 to 1985 and ran the department for 35 years, but hung around until 2013. Fans may have even seen him a time or two. He went to every game he could. I got to work with Bernie for a couple years and his attention to detail was unmatched. Anyone who worked with him got that 8 a.m. wake up call letting you know the plan for the day. He was a fixture in the press box and will be sorely missed. Jim. Certainly was, man. And I tell you what, I see Bernie at Dolphin games all the time and uh, I know how competitive he was, but he was also very kind and caring. That's what struck me about him, Mike. Yeah, he was. And I mentioned the press box. He's probably the most popular guy in the press box. That's right. You walk in, everyone had to say hi to Bernie before you went on to do your job. And he said hi to everybody, yes, too. Yes, he did. All right, Mike. Thank you very much. A great tribute there. Mm -hmm.